As you guys can see, we are about to try Assassin's Creed 3 on the latest version of CMU Android. Let's get started. Yo, what's up guys, it's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of CMU Android, which adds a lot of improvements in terms of performance and compatibility along with new features. Now, currently CMU Android port is under development. It is actually the first ever VU emulator for Android devices. And as you will be able to see, this is actually a fork version of CMU Android port where the latest CMU beta version 16 has been released. It is based on Simco, who is the developer of CMU Android port. So this is a fork version of CMU Android where the developer has added all the latest changes in the official CMU Android. You will be able to see some of the features such as added missing audio delay settings, made lot of internal changes to make sure that the CMU Android is more stable, added option to make show screen button a toggle along with that fixed input crash and added a context menu for games list. Now here are the minimum requirements if you also want to try out CMU Android. Unfortunately Android version 10 is not supported so you will need at least Android version 11 or above along with that at least 4 to 6 GB of RAM and any processor as CMU Android even supports Mali GPU devices so you can easily try it out on uh, Exynos, MediaTek and Snapdragon processors. With that being said when you open this update for the first time you will need to uninstall uh, the previous version of CMU before trying this out and you will notice that the UI of this emulator is much cleaner than previously looks better compared to previous versions and if we just go to the settings icon you will be able to see some sections have been made for each of the settings present here and you will see the CMU debug version. Anyways the first setting which we will go to is general setting. Make sure to tap on add game path and select a folder where you have stored your own VU games. Once that has been done, it will be detected inside the CMU Android. Once that has been done, go to input settings afterwards, choose controller 1 and make sure to set it to VU Gamepad or VU Pro Controller. Afterwards, enable input overlay for the on-screen touch controls. And yeah, that's about it in terms of uh, input settings. In terms of graphics settings, make sure to turn off VSync. Afterwards, set the full screen scaling to stretch so that you get a better aspect ratio. Upscale filter, you can keep it as default. You don't really need to change any of it. Afterwards, in terms of audio settings, keep everything as default. In terms of graphics pack, if the games that you have added on your Android device support any sort of graphics pack, it will be displayed right here. Now you can use this graphics pack to downscale the resolution of your game uh, to get better performance but CMU Android is very optimized now in terms of performance at least on high end devices so you don't really need to downscale anything. In terms of overlay make sure to enable the FPS overlay and also CPU usage and RAM usage if you want to track the performance of the emulator. Now that everything has been set up if you are facing crashing issues you can simply hold the games icon. Afterwards make sure to go to edit games profile. Here you will be able to choose CPU mode as single core interpreter. Then you can set the thread quantum level to 100,000 and that's about it. Well, let's try out uh, Assassin's Creed 3 to see if it four stops or not. If it four stops then we'll apply the settings that I just showed you guys. Anyways, as you will be able to see our game has successfully started. But I am not seeing the FPS bar at the top left corner. So let me just go ahead and exit the emulator. Afterwards make sure to go to overlay. Position will set it to top left. This is actually disabled. I keep forgetting it. Nonetheless, now you will be able to see that at the top left corner we are able to see the FPS bar. Now I have not tried Assassin's Creed 3 out on CMU before so this is my first time trying this game out as well along with you guys. We have the Ubisoft intro screen and the FPS which we are getting is around 2 to 3 FPS that is actually pretty poor. Uh, but once the shaders are compiled as you will be able to see the FPS is back up to 30 or 60. Let me just go ahead and press the plus button and here we go. Our game has successfully loaded so we'll just go ahead and start a new single player game and the input text has also been created if you want to input your name etc which is pretty useful and as you guys can see the first assassin's creed key cutscene is right here and it is being loaded properly without any stuttering or lagging issues i will also be testing out Watch Dogs in my cmu android pretty soon on my channel so be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel anyways let's wait until this cutscene is over let's go guys the game is about to start and i am noticing some of the graphical issues which we are facing there is stuttering issues the graphics are not being completely loaded and yeah, as expected, the game crashed. So if you don't want any crashing issues, you can set the CPU mode to single core interpreter and thread quantum level to 100,000. 
it should definitely fix any issues that you might face while emulating Assassin's Creed 3 on your Android device. After changing the settings that I just mentioned, as you guys can see our Assassin's Creed 3 has successfully started and I can control our character. But unfortunately as I mentioned before there are just too many graphical issues which means that it won't be a playable experience as CMU Android is still under development and is in its beta stages. You can't really expect it to run all the games with proper graphical output. Well in my opinion as far as I know the graphical issues are the only thing which is holding CMU back. The compatibility of games is pretty amazing. So there is definitely nothing wrong with that. Do let me know in the comment section down below how does this emulator work on your own Android devices. I'll see you guys next time though. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.